In the heart of Nigeria, where the earth breathed life into the dense forests and winding rivers, there lay a village known as Oliwa. Within its rustic confines dwelt a maiden named Adesewa, her grace as ethereal as the dawn's first light, her laughter a melody that danced on the wind. Adesewa's days were filled with the rhythms of village life, from tending to the fields of golden crops to weaving intricate patterns into vibrant fabrics. Yet, amidst the hustle and bustle, her heart yearned for something more, a love as boundless as the horizon stretching beyond her village's borders. It was on a tranquil evening, beneath the canopy of stars that adorned the night sky like shimmering jewels, that Adesa was fate intertwined with that of a young hunter named Odeola. With his sinewy frame and eyes that mirrored the depth of the forest, Odeola possessed a magnetism that drew Adesawa's gaze like a moth to flame. Their encounter was serendipitous, a chance meeting by the river's edge as the moon cast its silver glow upon the world. From that moment onward, their lives became entwined, like the tangled roots of the ancient baobab trees that washed over their village. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, Adesawa and Adela's love blossomed like the wildflowers that adorned the village's meadows. They shared secrets beneath the whispering branches of the sacred Iroko tree and stole kisses beneath the watchful gaze of the moon. But their idyllic existence was soon shattered by the harsh reality of a famine that swept across the land like a ravenous beast. The once lush fields withered beneath the scorching sun, leaving the villagers desperate for sustenance. Determined to ease the suffering of his people, Odola made a solemn vow to venture into the unknown, to seek out food and provisions beyond the confines of their village. Adesawa's heart ached at the thought of being separated from her beloved, yet she knew that Adela's noble quest was a testament to his unwavering love for their people. With tearful goodbyes and promises of reunion, Odola set forth on his journey, his silhouette disappearing into the horizon like a lone shadow against the fading light of day. Left behind in the embrace of her village, Adesawa prayed to the gods for Adela's safe return, her love a beacon of hope in the darkest of times. Weeks turned into months, and still, there was no sign of Adela's return. Adesawa's heart grew heavy with worry, her days filled with longing and uncertainty. She sought solace in the memories they had shared, the whispered promises beneath the moonlit sky, the stolen moments of passion amidst the rustling leaves. Yet, just when all hope seemed lost, a hushed whisper swept through the village like a gentle breeze, a lone traveler had been spotted on the horizon, his figure shrouded in the golden light of the setting sun. With bated breath, Adesawa raced to the edge of the village, her heart pounding like the rhythmic beat of the village drums. And there, beneath the sprawling branches of the baobab tree, stood Odeola, his weary form illuminated by the soft glow of the moon. In that moment, Time stood still as Adesawa rushed into Adela's embrace, her tears mingling with his own. Their love had endured the trials of time and distance, stronger than the currents that carved their path through the land. As they danced beneath the stars, Adesawa and Odeola knew that their love was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, a bond that transcended the boundaries of space and time. And as they pledged their hearts to one another beneath the watchful gaze of the moon, they knew that their love would endure for eternity, a timeless tale of passion and devotion whispered among the villagers for generations to come.